I'm in the heart of Changu now about to take you through this fantastic five bedroom villa and stay tuned till the end because I have an inspiring story for you guys. My name is Yukit Balitekshu and follow me along as we tour this masterpiece. Welcome in guys to La Maesa Changu. I'm located right at the center where I will be taking you through a five bedroom villa with an entertainment room, a massage room, a beautiful design, and it sits on a land size of 650 meters squared to 450 meters squared of build size and has so many cool features that I cannot wait to show you guys. So to start off here, in the entrance, we have lots of Spanish architecture incorporated, as you can see from the arches in the walkway. <laughs> I'm at the focal point of this villa now, and as you can see from this shot, this is very typical of Spanish architecture from the symmetry that you see on both the cabanas, the artifacts behind me, and the plants, and this swing right here, the seating area that's placed right at the central. This is the pinnacle of Spanish architecture, which I absolutely love. And here is one of the two cabanas that I was talking about before. And what I love about it is that they have a chandelier made out of over 2,500 shells. And you're also probably wondering why I'm dressed this way. And that is because it is Thursday and the government requires all workers within all industries to wear traditional Balinese clothing every Thursday and is important to preserve the culture and heritage of Bali. I myself, I'm half Balinese and I am uh, super proud to be Balinese and it doesn't feel like a requirement to me. All right, guys, moving on. Welcome into the villa's master bedroom. And if I was staying in this villa, I would definitely stay in this exact bedroom. And the reason being is because you have immediate access into the villa swimming pool from this door right here so imagine waking up feeling a little hot and then jumping straight in boom you're in right so moving forward we've got you know continuation on the spanish architecture from the stucco walls and the recessed arches for the uh, decorations arches on the walkway that leads into the bathroom arches on the door frame and even arches on the cabinets and also the biggest arch of them all is this uh, door that takes you straight into your own seating area, as you can see. So here's the seating area that I was talking about before. And what I love about this space here and all the spaces in this villa in general is that they have a lot of plants and many different colors that go very well together, making the area feel more vibrant, right? Now moving forward here around this pillar, just next to the master bedroom, we've got a bunk bed, right? A bedroom suitable for the kids and suitable for families as well. So mom and dad can stay in there and the kids, you know, they love bunk beds so they could just chill out over here while not being too far away from mom and dad. Moving forward guys, here we have a fully functional kitchen which you don't see in many villas but this one has just that because most people when they're on vacation, truth be told, they don't like to cook. So um, yeah, and the price you pay to stay in this villa comes with its private chef that would uh, meet with you, uh, take note of all your requirements, all your dietary requirements, and then go to the market and get the fresh goods and supplies to cook the uh, dish that you've requested, which I just absolutely love about this villa. So once the private chef has prepared your favorite meals, you and your family can get together here in this huge communal dining table area and enjoy the dish that they have prepared. And once that is done, I wanna show you guys one cool feature and that is for dessert. So come and follow me. To 
keep up with the Spanish theme, the owners have included a churros cart, which I think is really cool. And they usually serve it um, when guests check in or when they would like to have a dessert after dinner, you can have your uh, special churros tailor made. One important feature about Spanish architecture is that they like to incorporate art into their design and they do that in a few different ways, whether that be uh, sculpture, painting, or even a mural, right? right? Behind me, you see a mural painted by a man named Yanto and he's a very mysterious guy. No one knows where his whereabouts are, social media contact whatsoever. Only if you know a friend who knows him, then he'll commission a beautiful art piece just like the one you're looking at here. Now that we've covered all the spaces on the ground floor area, let's go and check out the second floor. All right guys, welcome into the master bedroom situated on the second floor. Um, similar to the first one we saw on the first floor, but main difference is, is that it has a higher ceiling and an art piece I love cultural significance of the country of Spain and that is the bowl here which has a few Balinese touches engraved into it as well. Now moving forward we have a working space here with a baroque mirror, arched windows and I don't know why you would need to work when you're staying in this beautiful villa relaxing but if you really need to you have the perfect space for it because just over there you can slightly see uh, Mount Batur but on less cloudy days they would be clear. As you step outside the masters, you have a seating area that everyone in this floor can use. And what I love about this space here is that uh, they have beautiful art pieces that are larger than life. And over on this side, we have a walkway area on the balcony that takes you into all the rooms on the second floor. Stepping outside into the balcony area, you've got two bedrooms and a very beautiful breeze and a very cool view of the neighborhood. And on this side of the villa, you have a private massage room, which comes with a private masseuse as well, a trained masseuse who will take care of you. And that's another cool feature I love about this villa. You've got a bathtub and a shower area for when you're done getting that massage, which is just perfect. So let's move forward. As you make your way outside of the massage room, you've got an area dedicated for those who love the nightlife because over on that side, you've got an entertainment room with a personal bar which comes with a personal bartender as well who will serve you up your favorite cocktails and you've got cool cocktail art pieces and also a large TV and pretty much a cool space to be in. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I'd be talking about one a cool story uh, about this villa and how the owners came about doing all this, right? So pretty much they have 12 dedicated staff workers who work here, manage it, operate it, keep it in shape. And what they've decided to do, to do is uh, put up a trust fund and a free interest uh, loans to give the workers the opportunity to have their own daily rental villa. So there are, they are in the process of doing that right now in various different locations all throughout Bali. Uh, they're doing a few in Kabukaba, uh, a few in Kadungu, and 
so that not only they have the chance to um, work here, but they also have the opportunity to own their own uh, daily rental uh, business by having a villa be built for them.